Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Here's the problem we're going to be going over today. If the integral from 0 to 9 of f of x dx is 37, and the integral from 0 to 9 of g of x dx is 16, we need to find the integral from 0 to 9 of 2 f of x plus 3 g of x, all with respect to x. So we can actually solve this problem just using the integral properties, which are all included on my Calculus 2 study guide. There's a link down in the description if you want to check that out. But what we want to do here is use those definite integral properties from that study guide to break this down into smaller pieces so that we can use the information that we're given with these small integrals of just f of x and g of x from 0 to 9. Because if we can break it down into pieces in terms of these little pieces that we're given, we can then kind of plug those numbers in and, and figure out what this whole thing is, is equal to. So what we want to do, first of all, is using those integral properties from my study guide is we can actually split this integral into two smaller integrals, which are a little bit easier to deal with. So the property that I'm referring to here is the one that says if we have an integral of two things being added together, we can instead find the integral of each of those individual things and add the full integrals together. So we can actually break this down into the integral from 0 to 9 of 2 times f of x dx plus the integral from 0 to 9 of 3 times g of x with respect to x. So this is going to be equivalent to what we were trying to find here. And that's just using the, the property that says we can split up the sum, um, split up an integral of a sum this way. Basically, the integral of a sum is the same as the sum of the integrals. <clears throat> so then what we can do is apply another one of those properties that says if we have an integral of a constant times some function, we can basically just pull the constant out of our integral. So doing that, we're going to be able to do that to actually both of these integrals here. We can pull our constant 2 out from this one. So we're going to get 2 times the integral of zero to, from 0 to 9 of f of x dx. And then we can pull our constant 3 out of this one because it's just 3 times this whole function of x here. And we're going to get 3 times the integral from 0 to 9 of g of x with respect to x. So now, notice we have this piece here, the integral from 0 to 9 of f of x dx, and the integral from 0 to 9 of g of x dx. And that's exactly what we were given. We actually know the integral of f of x from 0 to 9 is equal to 37. And we know the integral from 0 to 9 of g of x dx is 16. So then we know that this is equal to just 2 times 37 plus 3 times 16. So at this point, it's you know pretty much just basic arithmetic. 2 times 37 is going to give us 74. And then 3 times 16 is going to give us 48. 74 plus 48 is going to give us 122. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Go check out my Calculus 2 study guide. The link is in the description. I think that'll be a huge help to you as you work through Calculus 2 problems. So you can go get yourself a copy of that if you haven't already. Thank you and see you next time.